Hello everyone. So in this tutorial, we are going to see how we can perform image go registration using 3D Slicer. Specifically in this tutorial, we are going to cover what co registration basically is and how we can align two MRIs of the same patient using different co registration methods that are available using the 3D Slicer tool. So what is co-registration? Co-registration basically allows us to align two or more MRIs of the same patient. It is different from normalization because in normalization what we are doing is that we align all the MRIs that we have in the data set to make sure that they are on a standard format, right? But in co-registration what we are doing is we are focusing on one patient only and we are making sure that all the different modalities of one patient are properly aligned. So uh, to take an example, we can think or you might have come across the BRATS data set, which is the brain tumor segmentation data set. Uh, one of the sample of that data set is what I have taken for this example as well. So in that data set, what happens is that for each patient, you have basically four different modalities, which is T1, T1, C, E, flare, and T2, right? What we do is basically when we are performing any operation such as segmentation or classification, we stack all those four MRIs of each patient and then use them in the deep learning or machine learning or algorithm or whatever. So when we are aligning those uh, MRIs, we need to make sure that the brain region in each MRI is properly aligned, meaning that the brain region in each of the um, MRI modality for each patient is in the same position, in the same format, so that it exactly overlays and then we can perform segmentation or whatever we want to do with it so uh, in this tutorial but uh, as you can see uh, what i mean by that is that in this example for example i have tried to overlay two different images right these are flare and t1 ce of the same patient as you can see these are not properly aligned when we overlay them on top of one another this will create a lot of problem when we are performing segmentation as you can see the tumor region in the um, MRI that is on the back is over here and the one that is on the front is over here. These are not properly aligned and the system will get confused and we will not get the desired results. This is the case that we often um, come across when we are working with real world data and real world samples. So in this tutorial, we are going to see how we can resolve this using this 3D slicer tool. So let's begin. So I have opened up the 3D slicer tool and the first thing is to import the data. I have taken the example of uh, the Bratz data set. I'll leave the link to the data set in the description below in case you want to download and explore it. So I will add one sample from the Bratz data set. Simply click on the add data button. You can either choose the directory you want to add or choose individual files that you want to add. Another option is to simply drag the folder which contains your file. For example, this is the folder that contains two files of the same patient. This is the T1CE modality and this is the flare modality of the same patient. I am going to uh, click on this folder and drag it towards this window it will automatically paste my files over here right another addition step is to click on show options and then uncheck the single file this will make sure that or uh, in case you're working with dicom images it makes sure that the entire volume is loaded okay so simply click on the ok button and it will load your mris so first thing first first of all we are going to see what is the main issue? What do we mean by misalignment, right? So simply go to this view controller button. We are going to click the ring because we want to make sure that one step that we perform on one view will be applied on all the views. Simply click on these two arrow buttons and then select this flare volume. Now to see if the images are properly aligned or not, we are going to drag this uh, tool over here. And if the images are not properly aligned, we'll see uh, what is the problem if, and if there is any issue. So I have set it to 50% and as you can see, these two images are not aligned. T1C, oops, sorry, I'm going to align it again. Uh, if the object in your MRI moves, you can simply click on this button and it will set it to its original position. So as you can see, the images are not properly aligned and we want to make sure that these are properly aligned so that if we are performing any tumor segmentation or anything, it will be applied correctly and we'll get proper accurate results. So to start off, the first 
uh, I think step we should do or the first method that we should explore is manual registration. Uh, to do manual registration first of all we can also do an additional step i totally forgot about it which is to use this checkerboard filter what this checkerboard filter does is it provides us with a segment that are misaligned so for example if i select the first volume to be flare and the second volume to be t1ce and we can also select an output volume to save this output if you want to add it somewhere so I'm going to type this checkerboard filtered output. Okay. And then simply click enter. And now I wanted to have six portions or six uh, divisions. Simply click on apply and it will show us how much misaligned our image is. So as you can see, our image is very much misaligned. Uh, this checkerboard shows how many regions are misaligned right so going back to the view controller we can simply change through and see what the problem is and how we can resolve it so this is the problem and let's start with the manual registration okay so to perform manual segmentation we'll go to this option which is the data it shows us all the data that we have added uh, so basically what we want to do is we want to apply the um registration on the sample that is misaligned which is the flare one in our case we are simply going to click on this transform hierarchy option on this option you can simply right click and this is the option that you want to choose this is the insert transform option it will create this linear transformation you can obviously rename it i'm going to rename it to be manual segmentation once I'm done with this, I'll go back to the subject hierarchy and click on this grid, which is with the flare um, modality, as you can see over here. Right click on it and select manual segmentation like this. Now, as you can see, this will be highlighted. Once it is highlighted, you can simply click on it and click edit properties. Now, these are all the options that allow you to move the object towards the right, up and down. You can rotate it using all these different options and make sure that uh, uh, the both the modalities are properly aligned on top of one another. Okay, so we are going to simply play with different options. As you can see, when I drag this, it simply moves the flare modality, which is this one, the brighter one on top of the T1CE as you can see like this next you can explore and see how different functions are working so for example i don't think this uh, option was necessary to be applied then okay so if i move it it needs to go a little bit upwards because it is a little bit misaligned in that part if you could look closely okay as you can see next there is this option which allows us to set if the image is misrotated or something and then there is this option you can explore two different options and see which one works for you the main gist is that these are all the options that you can apply and this is the transformation metrics that you get this transformation metrics becomes very handy when you are basically doing coding or pre-processing multiple mris you can take reference of this transform metrics and apply on your entire data set and see how it will work so it becomes uh, very handy Okay, so I need to make sure that these are properly aligned on top of one another. Okay, so I am kind of sure that this is properly aligned even though it isn't, but it, it isn't properly 100% aligned, but I will assume that it is so that we can move forward. And the main gist of it is just to show you how you can perform this operation using this tool, right? So I think it has done it did a decent job of aligning the image once i'm satisfied with the transformation i can simply click on this mri and then click on this harden transform button once i do this it will harden the transformation that i have applied there is another step to make sure that it is applied this is to go to the search module type resample select this resample scalar volume now here you can see uh, i want to resample it so that it becomes a uh, rigid 
we are for, for example we are performing registration right we need to make sure that this registration that we have applied gets locked in so for that we need to resample the image to complete this process so i'm going to select this clear volume and then i'm going to create an output volume which can be for example i'm going to name it co register clear so click enter and you can choose any interpolation you like i'm going to select for example nearest neighbor or b spline i'll go i'm going gonna go with b spline option and simply click on apply it would take some time um, a few seconds to uh, resample the volume and once it's once it's done as you can see the image is properly aligned once we are done with the manual registration the final step is to save this volume so that we can use it later on so to do this we can simply click on the save button it would show us all these different options as you can see over here you can save the original volume as well and if you want you can save this different things these are all uh, this basically is the screenshot of the work that you are doing this is another file that 3d slicer saves if you don't want to save it you can simply uncheck it our task is to save this checkered board filtered output if you want to save it and also when we are working with the mri one thing is that it becomes an issue when the mris are of different formats so as you can see the original mri is of the nifty format and the one that we have generated using co registration is of nrrd these are two different formats this might become a problem when you are working uh, later on or doing some sort of coding or performing different segmentation or classification so to make sure that we do not get that error we are going to change the type of this mri2 to nft.nii.gz which is the compressed nifty format same goes for this co-registered uh, co flare volume we are going to save this with nifty name as well once we are done with it we are simply going to select the directory where we want to save it rather than selecting a separate directory for each of the mri we are simply going to click here here we can go to this image samples and then uh, registration folder here in the registration folder i have created a folder where i want to save my output so i am going to select this co-registered branch sample folder and click open and as you can see, it has changed the uh, path of all the images that we have selected, right? So simply click on save and it would save our MRI. So once we have saved it, we can later use this 3D Slicer tool again to visualize our result. So in this tutorial, we explored how we can perform manual segmentation using this transform function that the street use tool provides. And we have also seen how we can resample the image and then save them so that we can use them later on. In the next tutorial, we are going to see how we can use any built-in library that this tool offers to perform registration rather than going through all these steps and going to the data and selecting the linear transformation and transforming it by ourselves we can also go ahead and use some function or library that this tool provides to automatically or semi-automatically maybe perform segmentation and see how it goes so thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one